All right, YouTube, uh, before we get started, um, I want to thank everybody that has purchased through the link uh, for Vetter. Um, I failed to mention that a lot, a lot of times, but uh, the link down below is for Vetter holsters. If you're looking for a holster, uh, if you purchase through there, it does help the channel out. I mean, not a whole lot, but something's better than nothing special these days with the price of ammo. All right, what we're talking about today is the Walker's Razors. They're garbage. Okay. Point blank. Garbage. I bought these three months ago. Bought them from Amazon. Uh, I mean, they're okay. Uh, not a fan of the mics where you can't tell direction. But uh, the biggest problem is they broke in three months. Uh, I was at the range last Saturday. Uh, Guy next to me brought out his uh, 308 uh, pistol, and it was quite loud. And then I noticed something something was off. So took these, put them in the bag, grabbed uh, another set I had, which uh, probably do a review on them. They're cheaper and better. Uh, you know, I realize you know anything can break, so. Uh, what makes a company is how well they stand behind their product when they break. The uh, noise counseling is what quit working. Everything was amplified. I mean, it's, amplified still works, but that's the problem. It amplifies everything now. Uh, you know, you, most of them, well, all of them, as far as I know, you can hop, put them on. Any loud noise, just like clapping your hands, they shut off. Well, these quit doing that. So that, that was a big problem. So, I got with uh, their customer service. I believe uh, Walker's is part of the GSM Outdoor Group. Garbage, by the way. Uh, you know, first thing, you know, didn't ask, you know, didn't say, hey, sorry you had a problem. You know, what, you know, let's make this right. The very first thing she asked was, where did you buy them? I said, I bought them from Amazon. And... She goes, well, you need to give Amazon to send them back. It's like, I can't. You know, the return has, you know, for Amazon has passed. It's, you know, 30 days. These have been a little less than three months. And uh, she goes, well, contact them anyway and see. And if not, call us back and uh, get your RMA. And, oh, by the way, uh, you have to pay to send our broken part back to us. It's like, excuse me? You want me to pay shipping you know, which you know, I guess uh, probably about 10, 15 bucks if you're going to be using UPS because I would not recommend the post office right now uh, to send your broken item back to you that I've only had for three months. I said, you know, I can understand if I'd had these for several years, then okay, yeah, then I should have to pay to send them back to you for you to fix them or what have you. But three months, you want me to pay to send them back? It's like no. Let me uh, talk to somebody else. She goes, well, that's what uh, our supervisor has told me to tell you. I said, well, let me speak to the supervisor. And she goes, puts me on hold, comes back. Well, she's gone for the day, conveniently. And said, let me get your name and number, and she will call you at 9 o'clock Tuesday morning. Well, here it is almost a week later, and I still haven't heard from anybody. But anyway... So, I went to Better Business Bureau and filed a complaint with them. If you're thinking about anything GSM, go to Better Business Bureau. They have an F rating. F. And there's tons of complaints on there from anything from them, you know, wanting, having to pay for shipping to, you know, they're double charging people's credit cards, you know, you name it. There's tons of stuff on there. I mean, you could read for days. But yeah, elf rating. Well, lo and behold, the Better Business Bureau got uh, had to do it for Texas. It's, they're based in Texas. They sent the complaint over, and then within an hour, I get an email from their general sales manager of international sales. And 
He's, of course, he gives me the spill, you know, sorry, you know, we should have given you, you know, RMA and a shipping label to get those shipped back. And, but we're past that, and, you know, I want to get you in a good pair that work and want to know, want to know what pair I wanted. Well, you know, I emailed him back with that I had these. And that I wasn't looking to get anything fancy that, you know, I wanted another pair of these would be fine as long as they were going to work. I haven't heard nothing back and that's been, that, that was Wednesday. And here it is Sunday, nothing back. So I'll keep you all posted on how that goes. But, uh, you know, if it would have had a better customer service experience, you know, like, you know, okay, sorry, you know. It happened, you know, let's make it right, you know, especially three months. I mean, come on. But uh, right now, I probably would not buy another Walker's product pair. As a matter of fact, uh, I did contact Amazon and told them what they said. And their customer service was like, really? They wanted you to pay to send them back? I said, yeah. And unfortunately, there wasn't really nothing he could do since, you know, it was out of their window. But he did give me a $10 store credit for having the house with it, which did not have to do. But that was that was above and beyond for Amazon, of course. You know, Amazon has great service, unlike TSM Walkers here. So with that, I ordered the Pelator one, Tactical 100s. Uh... I haven't taken well, taking them to the range yet, uh, but just from around the house here outside, they are very light and are a whole lot better than these, even when these were working. But uh, we'll give a review on those after I've had a chance to get to the range. And uh, like I said, I got another one that uh, that I'll do, uh, do a review on. It's uh, the uh, Caldwell ones. They're Nothing fancy, but they get the job done, and I've had them for over a year with no issues. So that's uh, that's the review of the broken, three-month-old broken, Walker razors.